Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Espresso series. Um, a really a, a great one. I, I really love this one. I, it, it's this one's all about the Agent of the Year awards and how to win um, an award and and what it means to win an award. We've, we've got Josh here. I'll introduce Josh in a second. Everyone knows who Josh is. But what I'm going to do is just start with um, a little video that we've we've produced. I think it's been. I, don't, I think it'll be emailed out next week. But it's just a little teaser video around what it means to win an award. And and we'll come back and we'll talk to Josh. Uh, the agent of the year. So we'll, we'll talk to the agent of the year about what it really means to win an award. But let me share my screen here, make sure that is all on. And uh, I'll hope everyone can see this. Can everyone see that screen? Josh, can you see that? Yeah, mate. I can see it, mate. Let's play. It adds credibility to my name. And I said, I've sold a property down the road. The vendor was very happy and this is what they had to say. Also, you can share a sold photo now as well, which just adds to the trust building with the next vendor. So it's absolutely crucial. Winning an award to me is quite a big thing because you really do get recognized as we're an independent agency. This is the opportunity to be able to get it out there to everyone. For us, it's a proud award because it's testament to our staff that they're providing exceptional over the odds service to our landlords and our tenants. I think that's uh, super important. People are looking at if people have got a four or five star rating. Rate My Agent has helped my business immensely just due to the exposure in the marketplace and also being able to showcase to other clients reviews that I have received and the testimonials of real clients that are putting out their recommendations and their experience with my service. Rate My Agent has helped my business tremendously because it's the true source where an individual vendor can source which agent is doing what in their suburb and who's going to be able to help them sell their house. All right, Josh, I'll tell you what, um, we're getting uh, pretty professional at Rate My Agent. When we first launched the awards, it was nothing like that. It was bloody, it, uh, it obviously got nothing. To, I have no involvement in producing those videos, but welcome, Josh. Mate, how are you? Mark, I'm well. You know what it is. We're back. Mate, I'm going well. Hope you're doing well as well. My uh, my friends at Rate My Agent. Glad to be yeah, here. Yeah, we're all we're all going well, mate. We're, we're, we're pretty excited about the Agent of the Year Awards. It's a big thing. To tell, you, to tell you the truth, you know, the last three months of the year, we the number of reviews that get posted on Rate My Agent just skyrockets. I think we get you know, about half of our reviews posted in the last three months of the year, which is which is awesome. And, and the competition really starts. I'm going to give everyone a little bit of an insight into something where we're just a little sneak peek of something a little bit later on. But Josh, you're the reigning agent of the year. Number one. You know. How important, how important has that award been for you? Oh, mate, super important. I think uh, it's recognition for hard work and vendors love that, especially when anyone can make sales. Not everyone can have a happy customer. So um, another thing as well, that trusted agent badge, which we've got as well, not only being number one, but requesting from every single transaction a review, whether or not they've written it or not, um, requesting the review from the client. So, mate, super important. Everyone loves uh, number one and uh, glad to have the title reigning uh, number one. Hey mate, and you, just on that, I mean, you, you you sell over a hundred properties a year, right? And, yeah, I and I think one of not not to you know, not to talk you up too much because I don't think you need <laughs> you don't need anyone to talk you up, as everyone knows. No, but 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 what what really impressed me, and, and I think I, I think um you know, uh, rate my agent as a whole last year was that over a hundred and fifty odd properties or whatever it was over a hundred properties. You actually, before the awards were announced, you had reviews for all but two of them. And I think yeah. on the night I said that the two days after the award was announced, you got the final two. How do you go about doing that? What, what's the secret? Because we have some people that say they find it hard, but, but you find yeah. it easy. Oh, look, I suppose sales is asking for the business and, and obviously putting yourself out there. So it all starts with me pre getting the business. I usually ask in appointments and I'll show them that my rate my agent profile and say, look, this is how many sales I've done. This is how many recommendations. Mark, if you're selling your home and you are to choose me and if you had a great result, you'd be happy to write a recommendation. 
Yes, I would, absolutely. And then when the sale happens, it goes unconditional. We're putting the sold sticker up. I'll kindly ask for three things. I'll get a sold by photo, I'll get the video testimonial, and I'll say, do you mind filling out that rate my agent testimonial? Because as soon as you write it, I'll then send that to my next potential vendor to share your experience. And that gains a lot. For me, I'm getting reviews probably six or seven a week from vendors, and that's getting me a lot of traction. Because I'm saying, here's another six vendor reviews that I've just received. This is their experience. Here's their mobile number. Are you happy to move forward? And it just, it builds a lot of credibility because everyone says they're the best, but the vendors, they're the ones that speak and uh, they're the ones that determine the award. Yeah, man, mate, I reckon uh, we've got questions coming through. And for Ch Chaluka, um, I thought this was for finance brokers. Yes, you. sorry, you're not in the wrong webinar. The Rate My Agent Awards. I, I actually forgot to mention that. I was. I wrote it down here. You can say I've written mortgage brokers down and I forgot. So it, it, this absolutely relates to mortgage brokers as well. And, um, and this will be the first year we have mortgage brokers, uh, mortgage brokers included. We'll have a mortgage broker of the year across each state and we'll have a, a national mortgage broker of the year. We'll also have a top 10 in each state. And, and what Josh is talking about here, Chaluka, and, and what I'm talking about here relates. I think it's, it's really bloody simple, Josh, but ask the question. Uh, you know, don't, don't just send someone an email out of the blue. You know, when you're talking to them, which you should be doing each day leading up to, to for a mortgage broker up to settlement and for a real estate agent up to the sale, just get the commitment, the verbal commitment. Hey, are you happy to write me a review? It's pretty bloody simple, isn't it? Super simple, mate. Ask. If you don't ask, you do not receive. Uh, and you'd be surprised how many vendors that maybe you just send an email that just bypasses, because let's be honest, everyone's receiving hundreds of emails a day. But if you're persistent with it and you write them a text message, follow up and say, hey guys, I've just sent you that Rate My Agent review. Is it okay if you can fill it out you know, by the weekend? Give them sort of a, a little bit of a timeline that it's always better once it, the euphoria is there once the sales happen. Sometimes at settlement after three months, it's, it's probably not as exciting. They're going through, you know, removal as trucks and um, it's, you know, a, a little bit of a, a bit of a headache. So do it as soon as the salt sticker goes up. That's my tip. And uh, mate, I reckon that's a really good point because I know that you probably experienced this and other agents have experienced it. That if you wait until settlement, Think about all the grubby hands that get on your file. Oh, mate. You've got the back office, you've got banks, you've got uh, conveyances, you've got all, I mean, I, I, I've been involved in over a thousand transactions over the year for people that don't know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a passionate property person and, and help people buy and sell property. And the number of times that a settlement would be delayed because the bank lost the bloody title. Oh, I mean, mate. shit. Right. <laughs> And, and, and unfortunately, that reflects on the agent. Like at the end of the day, you know, we're the ones that are, we, I had one, you know, a week ago where unfortunately it was a little bit of an admin error um, and mate, just absolutely blew up. It's my fault. And it, it directly wasn't me. So yeah, definitely for the review purpose, um, request it as soon as the sale goes unconditional and uh, you'd uh, be surprised what comes back. Yeah, and no, I think that's right because you, you know, um, you're putting yourself out there. You're putting yourself out there and you're asking for feedback. Yep. And if you delay it and you wait till settlement and someone's a bit annoyed about something else and all of a sudden they get this opportunity in their inbox to vent, even if it's got nothing to do with you as the agent or nothing to do with you as the mortgage broker, you know, it's, I don't know, something happened. I mean, I've seen reviews where, where people have complained because, um, well, here's one, here's a classic one, um, the remote control to the roller door. The agents pro on their review Send some batteries and just deliver them and then say is there anything else i can do you know but but it's um i think the other trick and this is this for everyone watching i think the other trick is is to get not only a, a verbal commitment that someone's going to write a review but i've heard agents do this and i'm sure josh does it as well is are you happy to write me a positive review always is there anything is there anything else i can do before i send you that to get that commitment that is there any other way i can service you before i ask for your feedback is that do you find that works yeah always mate and when i do that usually face to face with them i'd say to them you know if you're happy to write a review fantastic i hope myself and my team over at ray white Vegas Hill has earned a five-star review is there anything else we can do for you always and there's always things to do like they're recommending you know cleaners they might need removalists you know the buyer may need you know contact with you know a certain party in the area to get into school catchments so really over servicing them sales is service we're in customer service and if you can give someone a good customer 
service, you deserve a five star review. So um, yeah, I pride myself as well, not only the trusted agent, but five out of five stars, I'm rated a lot of 4.8, 4.9, which is great. But the more five review, five star reviews, the better. I tell you what, what, what there's a, I'm going off piece to a little bit, but I, what I found some, there's advertising on telly at the moment. Um, there's an insurance camera, I can't remember who it is, but yeah. they actually promote that they're 4.4 stars. And, and it's really interesting psychology in that, um, and I think as an industry, I don't think we should fear not getting a five star every time. Oh, definitely, yeah. We should, we should always want it, absolutely. But they talk about, they, I, I, I can't remember if anyone remembers what it is, maybe put it in the chat, but, but there's an insurance company that talks about 4.4 star and how good that is. And, and in the eyes of the consumer, the consumer says, oh, that's realistic. That's, I mean, from, I, I joke to my kids now that any, you know, they, I used to get 51% at school and that, you know, anything else was a waste of time, you know, but 4.4 star, that's 88% from, a, a, you know, my kids are going through exams at the moment, but that's 88%. That's a pretty bloody good result. And, and we should embrace the four stars as much as we embrace, oh, yeah. um, you know, the five stars. Anything positive, if it's not positive, sometimes it's constructive, which is great as well. So, yeah, mate, I've had a couple of fours in there over my time and I think a three and a half once, but it was still positive. So I'll take it. Yeah, yeah that's right. That's right. Hey, mate, um, you're going for back to back. Back to back, mate. I've got Are you a feeling jacket. pressure? Oh, no, not really, mate. Pressure makes diamonds. But yeah, I've got a, I've got a jacket that's got back to back. So I'm envisioning it. Um, it's going well. I've done more vendor reviews and sales than I did last year, which I won with. So, mate, just focusing on the process, focusing on happy clients. Um, I've got a big team around me now. I, I now you know own an office and um, lead a great team. So yeah, mate, it's it's been awesome. Loving it. So, so do you? So that that's a really good point because I guess now that you're you're probably you know your agent of the year and and now yeah. you're probably going for the title or it might be a bit late this year but we'll see how it goes to to win the the, the office of the year hey. which is yep. which is which is an amazing sort of uh, thing to go for as well. Um, do you train your guys up on using Rate My Agent and oh, getting reviews? Mate. Is that that's a part of the process? Yeah, I'm super process driven. Everything uh, we do is written down from start to list to communication with the vendor to closing the business to post level service to recommendations, reviews. Um, so, yeah, absolutely. I've got Taylor on board. He got number 36 in Australia last year from Rate awesome. My Agent. Um, he's heavily into it. Uh, I've got Mark on board. He's a new recruit. He's doing it. I'm actually going to start getting my assistants as well. So I've got Panal, I've got Alex, we've got Nathan in the office, Taylor's assistant, and Luke coming. Um, they'll be all requesting reviews as well. So, mate, more, more happy customers, the better. And I think especially now we're a team, we always, I always have personally carried high levels of stock and, and sold between, you know, 10 and 20 per month every single month leveraging off that, that you're not just getting myself, you know, number one in Australia, you're getting the team as well. We've all, you know, got our own skills. We all work under the same beliefs and the same mindset. Um, and as I said, recommendations, whenever a vendor, like I was in an appraisal literally about two hours ago and they said, oh, Josh, we're, you know, unsure to go with you or another agency. And I said, okay. I said, do you mind if I show you my rate, my agent profile? Maybe this is going to swing you my way. 10 minutes after reading a couple of reviews, I showed him the rankings. I showed him where I am in Quaker City. So he said, Josh, where do I sign? Hits the market next week. So it gets me a lot of business. And I feel that credibility is the evidence that gets it over the line. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty hard to, I, I, I did a, one of these webinars a little while ago and I, and I think um, I showed your, the, the map of your reviews across, across Quakers Hill. Yeah. And, uh, and, and for anyone who's watching, if you, you know, go to Josh's or go to you know, your own profiles and, and click on the map and it's actually something as rate my agent now, we're going to bring that map out more into yeah. the open because I've used the analogy, you've probably heard it before, but I've used the analogy, it's like two restaurants, you're walking down the street and um, one restaurant is packed and the other one is empty. We all go into the one that's packed, even if we don't know anything about it. And we might wait longer. We might yep. pay more. Yep. But Definitely. it's be because it's packed, because the locals, because the people in that community go to that restaurant, we're taking that as that, it's that, um, you know, it's that community awareness. It's that, that community reinforcement that, hey, this is, yep. and I, I encourage everyone to look at that map and use that in their, um, in their presentations as well. Hey, you said that a lot of your guys, and you said a lot of you guys um, have already got rate agent reviews, and I have heard this before as well. Was that a part of your selection process when you were looking for agents to join your 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 crew? Yeah, absolutely. I handpicked every single agent that's in my office. 
uh, the main reason, besides the fact of culture, and I, I never had that before, I've got to have a culture where we're all striving to be better and we're all, you know, as a team. Um, but yeah, definitely looked at their profiles, looked at their numbers on realestate.com um, and looked at their rate by agent profile. What were the vendors saying? Because nothing is worse for me than, you know, I've created, you know, a group and I've created a team and then someone's letting us down. Someone's getting constantly bad feedback. So like Taylor was was probably, you know, the main, um, main target I wanted to bring on my team. Local guy, um, um, lots of reviews. I think he's over 200, you know, number 36 in Australia. That showed me that vendors were happy, which means future vendors are happy. And, you know, with a process being in a good environment, he can get to the next level. So, um, yeah, I, I think uh, the selection process was almost like a reference check. When you employ somebody, you're looking at what their references had to say. And instead of calling them up, I was just reading right my agent. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. Hey, for anyone who's watching, uh, there's a, 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 if you've got any questions uh, for Josh or myself, if you've got yep. any questions about the awards and how they work, um, now's the time to sort of uh, feel free to put it in the, in, the chat, um, in the chat screen there and we're happy to answer any of those questions. Uh, yep. But I just want to, I'm going to give everyone, I said, I, I was going to give everyone a little sneak peek of a, a webinar we're doing in two weeks and something that is not quite ready to be unveiled um, George has just said, great work, Josh. Keep it up, legend. George, there you knows. Go. George knows what it is. The youngest legend. Um, you, you, legends tend to be a bit older, but <laughs> <laughs> you've, you've reached legend status. Um, you know, like gym, gymnasts reach legend status at a very young age. So maybe you're, you're, you're like a, I don't know where I'm going with that. So let's, let's just bloody leave that. So well, I've got something to show everyone. It's a really sneak peek. We're going to go into more detail about this. The devs at Rate My Agent will be quite frankly, shitting themselves that I'm showing you this, but hey, um, I'm going to show it anyway. Share my screen because what we want to talk about um, is really about, um, hang on, let me get out of that, is really about, Josh has won the, the, the National Agent of the Year Award and, and it's a wonderful title to win. But after I show you this, Josh, I'm going to ask you a question. How important is it that local level award? Oh. And what, what I'm going to show everyone here is a sneak peek of our awards leaderboard. This yep. is really cool. Good one. Um, share this, share that there. Um, hang on, no, share that one there. So can you see that, Josh? I can see that, mate. Awesome, so that means everyone can see it because it's amazing how many times I stuff this up. So I'm in our de development environment here, so this is not live, but, but we'll launch this in the next week or so where Every agent will have a live leaderboard. You see the little pulse thing there? I it's updating it. in real time. Yep. It's, uh, it's showing you who's winning the Agent of the Year Award in every suburb that you participate in. So you can yep. see Josh is winning there now. So I'm not going to go too far into this. But if I click down to Kellyville, um, you know, there's someone else that uh, Corey's winning at Corryville at the moment. It's showing RMA score. It's showing all that sort of stuff. Yep. Um, so I'm going to unshare now because that was just the sneak peek. But but the leaderboard is, oh, mate, it's it's a it it's an amazing piece of piece of software. It, it, it looked pretty damning there, one from two in Quakers Hill. So uh, mate, <laughs> can't disagree with that. <laughs> yes. Well, you know, and and it get, the reason we're doing this is because it's going to give everyone the opportunity to understand where they sit. What do they need to do? What you know? Yeah. Do they need to get more reviews? Do they need to sell more property? But clearly, you you know, you, you're doing really well in Quakers Hill. How important is it that 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 you know the grassroots level? Because I mean, quite oh. frankly, if if you're an agent watching this and you're selling property in Victoria. No one really cares that, and, and just no offence to you, but, but the agent of the year being based in, in New South Wales, it doesn't really impact you. So that grassroots level, is that really important for you? Super important, mate. It all starts, you took the words out of my mouth, mate. It all starts essentially in your core suburb. Um, I'm a local. I live uh, the next suburb from Quakers Hill. I, I own a house there with my partner. So, um, mate, that, that's where it all starts for me. My office, I own that in Quakers Hill. My agency is in Quakers Hill. Ray White in Quakers Hill. Um, that's where I sell. That's my bread and butter, essentially. So, um, a lot of people see the national award and think, you know, oh, Josh is the agent of the year for Australia. But not many people know I've won it three times for Quakers Hill, going on four for 2021. So I go, as I said, I go into a lot of appointments and I say to them, look, this is how many I sell in Quakers Hill. Here's my agent of the year awards. It's not just, you know, flash in the pan one year. This is four years now. So, um, yeah, mate, it's a, it's a huge listing tool for me. Um, the vendors love it. The buyers love it. And it uh, gets me a lot of business, which is great. Awesome. Ian's just coming to us a question. Is the leaderboard available now? No, Ian, that, that was just a sneak peek. That's an exclusive. Um, 
it's an exclusive, exactly right. It's an exclusive. It will be, I, I don't know the exact date, but it's within the next two weeks because our next webinar, we're actually going to talk more to the leaderboard. We're going to talk about the logic as to why we've, um, why we've developed it. Um, we're going to talk about how it works and the information that's contained there. Um, so, Ian, we, we'll, you know, you'll be the first to know. We'll send out, um, we'll shout it from the rooftops because we're really, really, it's, you know, the Agent of the Year awards are growing each year and they're getting bigger and bigger and, and, and the leaderboard is in response to what people have told us over the years. So we're, we're, we're pretty bloody, uh, we're pretty excited about it. There's also another question here. Can I ask why the top gross sales ranking search and full list of agents in this criteria has been removed? Um, yeah, it's, it's a good question. So basically the, the total sales value we, we've actually, um, we've removed and, and the reason we removed it, uh, it's anonymous, so I can't, can't refer to you by name, but it's interesting because it, it was a debate, um, but we removed it because consumers didn't find value in it. We, we did a lot of consumer research um, and, and we know that it's a, it's a really important thing from an agent perspective and that, and that's, we, we're not suggesting we won't bring it back because we may well bring it back. Um, but it was through consumer research. We spent a lot of time with consumers and, and asking them, what do they want? Um, and and, and um, uh, so uh, that was you, uh, Maria. Um, so that's the reason for it. You know, as, as we've got to remember that Rate My Agent, we built this for agents, but we built it for agents so they can communicate with the community. And, and we need to be responsive to what the community is looking for. Isaac just also asked there, will the New Zealand leaderboard, um, um, New Zealand, we won't be launching the leaderboard for New Zealand uh, this year. Um, so we're still building out that infrastructure for New Zealand. Um, so uh, unless someone tells me in this chat that I'm wrong there, it's, it's the Australian leaderboard um, um, that, we're, that we're launching. Um, hey Josh, oh, there's more questions coming through. This is what happens to me. I get so many bloody questions, oh, but I'm really, I'm really curious to ask you. Um, you know, when you win the award, there's all these digital assets that that you get access to: social media, digital adverts, billboards, video, to all this sort of stuff. Flies. Um, how do you use those? Mate, use them everywhere. Look, I think any piece of content in terms of an award, um, leveraging that success is huge. So when you promote them, I know there's a lot of guys, you know, Stephen Watson, a uh, good friend of mine at Rate My Agent, he always, he puts me onto the guys which are boosting them through the Google network pretty much. So on Facebook now, um, I've got a campaign where it tells everyone that I've won the Agent of the Year for Quakers Hill, um, New South Wales, Sydney and Australia. It then does it through Google. So every now and again, you know, you're on like a news article and it just pops up. And I think that's the abundance mentality. It's like when you look at, you know, buying a new t-shirt or buying some new sunglasses, and then all of a sudden, it's like the iPhone's heard you and you come up on the, you know, Google as a sponsored ad. It just triggers in your mind. There it is again. So I, um, I leverage that a lot. I put a lot of money into it. Um, main reason I do that is because I see value, I suppose. Um, I put a statistic up last night um, on my Instagram. I've signed 81 listings since opening up my new office in Quaker Hill. I'd probably say about 20 to 30 percent of those is because of Rate My Agent. The exposure, um, you know, the boosting through the network, it's just everywhere. And I regularly ask, you know, where did you find me? And they said, oh, through that, that Rate My Agent site. And I said, yep. And then it clicked to me that it's working and then we do more of it. Yeah, awesome. And, and I think the other thing, and one of the things that we're trying to to educate agents on at the moment is is the idea of being able to track customers as well and, and yeah. you know you like you said before about you know you see something on your iphone and then all of a sudden ads pop up and i remember agents saying to me it's like you're stalking people and yeah. i said it's not like <laughs> yeah, it <laughs> is <laughs> we are <laughs> which is a terrible thing to say but but when you do these things digitally and for everyone watching, the, the real benefit of doing things digitally is you can tag them with a digital tag. It's called a tracking cookie. Yep. Um, and that means you can start to remarket to them. And, and you know, if someone's read one of your reviews, um, you know, you know, you know who they are. And, and, and the analogy I use now is I think, um, I think in the early days of real estate, it was all about lists of, of where people lived and sending them physical yep. letters in the mail. It then went to email addresses and sending them email. Now what we're doing by, by embedding tracking cookies into people's devices, phones, computers, we're tracking IP addresses. And that's the next battleground. You really, I think you Josh now have built out, built up an enormous database of, of, of devices you're tracking within your market. I, I, Stephen said to me the other day, it's something like 50%, oh, it, yeah. you know, 
around, and we don't know exactly whether they all live in Quakers Hill, but um, I think that's what you're seeing working for you. Oh, mate, you drop the pixel and, and you essentially have their data forever. So, yeah, mate, I, I think if you can win the social war, um, if you can, you know, dominate the social space, everyone's trying to do it here or there, but if you do it in abundance, people can't not see you. Um, and I regularly ask, as I mentioned, you know, I say I do a lot of videos, we do a lot, we're heavy on social media. Have you seen us on Facebook? Absolutely, Josh, we see you everywhere. We can't escape you. That's getting me indoors. And that's part of the issue for agents. A lot of agents these days, you know, have happy clients, but don't know how to leverage off it and how to actually get into the next appointment. Because with sales, as soon as you make another sale, you need another one. So, um, mate, it gets me indoors. And as I said on stage when I won earlier this year, um, I don't think I'd be necessarily as successful as I am without Rate My Agent. So, mate, I'm a big advocate of it. Um, 168 sales in the last 12 months. And, um, yeah, can't thank you guys enough. It's great. Everyone should be on the website. <laughs> awesome. Peter, we've got a question for Peter. Any news on a timeline for the ability of RMA reviews to be published to individual Google My Business pages rather than office pages? Peter, it's an awesome question. I know our team is working on it as we speak. Um, I, I don't want to give you an exact time frame, but it's not far away. So, so we we we've built it. We've actually built it for the U.S. market. I apologise to 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 our <laughs> to Australia, um, but um, but we know we know it's working in the U.S. market. So our team um, is, and I don't know if anyone can give me an update in chat here from my team, but but it is on on the top of our agenda, Peter, and and we're looking to get that launched as soon as we can. I know Steve, you know, Josh mentioned Steve Watson, um, who heads up our sales team in Australia. Um, he's yelling from the rooftops, telling uh, telling us that we have to get it out as soon as possible. So, Pete, you've got a lot of support within internally within Rate My Agent to get that out. Um, so, so hopefully not far away. I don't want to, it. Certainly, we will be this side of Christmas, and 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 hopefully only in the next few weeks. Uh, but as I said, they're working on it. Josh, I've got a the, quick questions. Which sorry, the people are asking here. Any new award categories? Um, not a lot of new categories in Australia. In Australia, we, we've, we've, I th we think we've found the sweet spot, but certainly in New Zealand, there's some more categories there. We've got the top five regional, um, we're expanding our, our categories across the New Zealand market. Um, I'd, last year, we sort of, uh, they were a bit broad and, and that was because we just launched in New Zealand, but we're actually going down a bit deeper into regional areas in New Zealand. So there'll be more New Zealand awards. We've also got the, the, um, the, the mortgage broker awards as well as new categories this year. We don't want to be like the bloody Oscars and, and have so many categories that, that, you know, well, we'd all get so drunk would be the problem, I guess, um, if, we, if we have too many awards. Um, uh, Steve just texted me, G GMB agents will be live within two weeks, hopefully, very, very close. So, Peter, um, two weeks um, and we'll have the GMB for, for individual agents. Um, and Rosemary's asked you, how does rate my agent? Sorry, Josh, I'm just getting all these questions. There's none for you here. You're, you're sort of sitting there. But how many, um, how does it work for mortgage brokers? Rosemary, it, it works in a very similar way as it does for real estate agents. You, you, um, you, you, you claim your profile um, um, and you start requesting reviews. Reviews are linked to the transaction in the same way they are for real estate agents. You can, if you want any more information on, on setting up a, a, a rate my agent for mortgage brokers, you can contact us at support at ratemyagent.com.au and someone will get in touch with you and get you all set up. Um, Josh has over 20, oh, here you go, Steve's, look at, look at what he's doing. Josh, here he is. Josh, is, Josh, is, Josh is currently tracking here, here's a big number, Josh, and this is pretty bloody impressive. Josh is currently tracking over 20,000 digital devices um, uh, and he's collected those 20,000 digital devices in the last six months alone. Um, so so it's, um, I think that's what you're seeing the results of that now, Josh. It takes a little time to build it, but pe people can't get away from you. Right. And that's the thing, mate. If they don't see my corner signs, if they don't see me on realestate.com, if they don't see me on Rate My Agent, if I'm not sponsoring every sporting club and team in the area, they're underneath a rock. So as Stephen just said, the digital database, that's where it is. Everyone's glued to the iPhones. So it's only natural to heavily market on the iPhones. I've, I have got a question here for, for, from Simon. Um, question for Josh. With, yeah. with all the online platforms, Facebook, Google, Rat My Agent, REA, etc., does Josh get multiple reviews from the same client or, or change up his request to spread them across platforms 
um, or has he a particular preference? I, and I'll, I'll just, before you answer that, Rate My Agent syndicates reviews across Facebook and Google um, right. and Domain. And so, yeah, so do you find the need to get multiple reviews? Um, look, there's different platforms out there. Like, let's, you know, elephant in the room is, you know, yeah. Rate My Agent is, I, I personally, the number one is Rate My Agent. That's where I win the award. Um, other websites out there, we also request them there as, re, as well because consumers visit those websites eventually one day the smart thing for everyone to do would just eventually become one like domain done uh, what, what domains done is literally all your profile and reviews get logged on to there which is awesome it's killing two birds with one stone so yes it can be quite um, labor intensive asking and um, over and over can you write me a review here can you write me a review here whereas you know rate my agent sort of automated the domain the google and their own website so yeah priorities rate my agent and the rest are secondary yeah, and that's our, our aim, Simon, is, is to ensure that agents only have to request a review once and then it syndicates across. So at the moment, we syndicate reviews across to Google, into Google reviews and Google posts. Um, be very clear that, that, that people still need, a G, uh, not a Gmail account, but some sort of Google account to syndicate those reviews across. So they all don't go across, but we right. get a high percentage across into Facebook, in, into, into your own website via our API. Um, the only one um, that we don't syndicate cross to is realestate.com. Um, realestate.com are welcome to use our API and, and we know that a lot of agents are asking uh, 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 realestate.com to accept our API. Yeah. Domain has already accepted our API. So, so really the only one across the market that we don't syndicate to is, um, is REA, but that we're, we're, certainly not, we're certainly not blocking that, Simon. Um, I've got another question here. Do, uh, um, so someone's asked, do you have to nominate for, for Agent of the Year Awards? No, you don't nominate. You just get reviews. Yeah. You know? List and sell property and get reviews. So even for age, Independent Agency of the Year, um, we know you're an independent agency. We know if you're a one office network um, and, and we will calculate the awards based on um, you know, the reviews, that, the transactions and the reviews that you've sold. Um, yeah. If Stephen said here, if anyone wants to know how they can build a, um, a, a digital database like Josh, getting those, getting those, um, tracking those digital devices, um, if you contact us at support at ratemyagent.com and, uh, and Stephen or someone from our team will show you how, what Josh is, well, can we give away your secrets, Josh, on how you're doing? You can give it to your Go for it. Hey, I reckon that's enough, Josh. Um, thank you so much for your time again. Uh, good luck. Um, oh, Vanessa's got a question here. Can the agency of the year be tracked live or just agents? So Vanessa, it's just agents at this time. Um, and we, 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 will, we won't be launching the agency um, tracking this year, but, but we certainly have it on the roadmap for next year. This software, it, it crunches millions of pieces of data and, and we've just got to make sure we get it right. Um, we're going to run out of time between now and the end of the year to do agencies, um, but but we'll certainly um, get them for next year. Josh, best of luck for the rest of the year. Um, to everyone watching, keep getting those reviews. If anyone's got any questions from us, support at ratemagent.com um, and we'll 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 we'll, uh, we'll answer any queries you've got. Thanks for having me on, guys. See you next time. See you later. Bye.